Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome to City Field. This is episode 23 of my MLB The Show 20 New York Mets franchise. And here we are for the September 2nd game against the Colorado Rockies. Uh, we already won two of three games of the series, so we're just looking to sweep. We have Steven Matz in the mound against John Gray. Long first inning for Matz here. And that's probably going to lose a run. Throw the plate. Actually, no, he got him. What a throw by Brandon Nimmo. Getting the out at home plate. And that saves a run for the Mets and Steven Matz. That's a base hit for Brandon Nimmo. As he gets on during the first inning. That's a strikeout. That's big. Steven Matz, especially with the two runners on. Oh, he misses it. Conforto with an error. That brings the run in. And it's one nothing Rockies here in the second inning. Not entirely too sure what happened. But he, I was charging. And this has to be an error for Conforto. I don't understand. Oh, no. That's a run. That's a bad throw by Rosario. Man, it's 2 nothing now. Get out of here, bro. Let's go. Even that up there for Pistol Pete. That makes things 2-1. to one. Number 57 of the year. Going 407 feet. Oh, froze me. What the heck was I looking at? The base hit for Arnado. It's going to drive in Dahl. It's going to be 3-1. to one. Here in the fifth inning. Clearly, Matz is having a lot of trouble today. Spotting pitches and just getting out and giving up a walk right here. So now two men are on. No outs here in the fifth inning. Oh my gosh, the base hit given up again. It's going to be at least two runs. This throws good and it's safe. It's 5 to 1 here in the fifth inning. That is Nemo driving to deep right field and it's going to be out of here. Brandon Nemo with a home run, making things 5 to 3. Number 29 of the year for Nemo. Going 400 feet, catching that high pitch, high in the zone, able to just drive it right center. And that is McNeil driving to deep right field, chasing back, chasing back, chasing back, and it's out of here. That is a home run for Jeff McNeil. That's his first home run of the series. That's his first hit of the series. And it makes things 5-4. to four. Number 24 for Jeff McNeil. Another belt high pitch. Easy to drive out. Level swing. 2-2 two two to Barlow. Good catch. That is a Matt Rosario showing his athleticism right there. Up the middle. Oh, he can't handle it. That is going to be an error by the second base. Oh, the cat the got it as base hit. Okay. All right. So things have gotten a little interesting with Robbie Cano here. We know he has power. We know he can drive him in. Oh, my gosh. Did he just win the game for the Mets? And it's out of here. That is a three-run home run for Robinson Cano. It's now a 7-5 Mets. You're in the sixth inning. And we've 
seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan D. Rowe, what do you Robinson think? Cano coming in as a pinch hitter. Coming in clutch. And as I said, watch out for his power. Guess what? They gave up that home run and the Mets grab the lead. Strikes out the side. Dellen comes in. One, two, three. Three Ks. As that ends the seventh inning. That is a strikeout. So that is six strikeouts between Dellen and Winkler. Inning over. Kid Alonzo drives it to right field. It's going to blow things open. And that's going to be a two-run double for Pete Alonzo. He's going to be safe. It's going to be 9-5 to five now here in the eighth inning. The one now, Pete Alonzo coming in the clutch. Conforto drops it field, home run. Perfectly. It is now 11-5 to five here in the eighth inning. Or seventh inning, rather. Or is it eighth? Not sure. That's number 38 for number 30. The match win 9 to 7. Justin, Will Justin Williams. Justin Wilson comes in in the ninth inning and gives the two solo shots. The Mets come back from a 5 1 deficit and just use their power, uses their offense to just take over. Insane Brandon Nemo. 4-4-4, four, 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 a home run, two RBIs. Man, this team just went off in the fifth and sixth inning and then took over in the eighth. Unbelievable hitting by this team coming in the middle of the game. Can't believe it. <laughs> so we're going to send the rest of these games out and see what we can do. Or how we do, rather. Uh, with Rick Porcello up next, let's sim this game. We got a 9 to 1 win. Jacob DeGrom up again. We, oh, he's about to have a shutout. And we win 5 to 2. So now he is 17 and 6. Um, then we're going to have Synagard go up in the mound. And he, oh, we lost. Dang. Strowman's up. Sim to date. He also has the shutout going, and we win for nothing. Matt's up again, and we lost. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so then we are now 94 and 50. We are on pace to win 100 games. That's awesome. That's amazing for the Mets. Um, but we have Rick Purcell on the mound next, who's 11 and 7, going against Cole Hamels in Atlanta. Uh, so let's take a look at the awards races before we wrap things up. I like to do this before every episode. We got Pete Alonso batting 305, 57 home runs, 118 RBIs. Michael Conforo sneaking up there. Sneaking up there, but, you know, Acuna Jr. is just, you know, his RBI count is higher. And his home run counts higher. So, you know, good forward in third place is not a bad idea. I mean, a bad thing. Um, then we got National League uh, Cy Young Award winner. We got Jacob DeGrom trying to go for a three-peat. Um, as long as he can, keeps his winning ways, keeps his ERA below maybe a 3.5, I think he should be okay. Obviously leading in strikeouts, two, uh, 225. Um, see anything else for going for Brad Hand? I don't think he's going to win it. Good Alonzo, Hank Aaron Award. And that should wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode of my MLB The Show. New York Mets franchise, if you did, click that like button. Leave any comments below. And again, I'm, I'm always going to say this. I'm streaming exclusively to Facebook Gaming. Follow me at facebook.com slash remtv1. Uh, I'll put the link in my description. Hope you guys follow me. So you guys can join me for my Warzone streams or whatever else I'm coming out with live streaming wise. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace. As they made it a laugh.